It is an egg of a uh, common blackbird uh, bird that everyone knows. It's a very friendly bird actually. Um, for example, it sets up colonies with the continental European birds. They don't fight, they, they live together. That's a little political undertone <laughs> of, of my project. But the project itself is um, it's not about the shape, it's not about the form, it's also not about the concept. Um, it is about the um, very special sensation that we have when we witness something being born or a hatchling which just crawls out from the shell. Uh, some, a new life, a, yeah, a new life, something almost uncanny, impossible and of course unhuman because we, of course we give birth, we females, we create life but then um, we don't really understand how it happens. We don't know uh, how to help it in most cases. It is something that is, in a sense, detached from us, but this is ours. I mean, we are the nature. We're part of it. There's not something that is outside of us. And this project, the hatchling, is about us being exactly at the core of it, in the middle of it, being part of it. And the separation that at some point in the human history um, formed in our heads is simply wrong. Um, I wanted people to be able to come close to the sculpture to listen to it because it's an acoustic sculpture so it's designed to be listened to carefully. Um, the, there is a recording uh, of the hatchling struggling to come out hammering the shell from inside. A uh, recording of the, uh, of the heartbeat, uh, of all the efforts of labor. Um, and I thought the, the, the exactly the sensation that I had when I listened to it using the contact microphone for the, for the first time, I wanted to kind of grasp it and share it. And I hope it is in the egg. That's, yeah, it's impossible and kind of feeling of witnessing something absolutely amazing, you know, the, the, the miracle of life. Uh, it's made out of acrylic plaster, reinforced inside, many, many layers of it with the fiberglass and uh, a metal rods reinforcing the, the egg from inside. And there is um, a sound exciter transducer installed in the middle, I mean inside of the egg, which transmits the sound waves onto the shell. So ultimately the egg is a membrane that carries the sound outside so it also vibrates so if you touch it if you listen to it you sense the vibration of the egg pretty much like when the hatchling is coming out when you touch the shell you feel it <laughs> 